I'm Josh Alpert, PGA Golf Professional with Good Swings Happen Junior Golf Academies and Precision Golf Centers, and welcome to your SEGA Swing Tip. Technique is super, super critical. How you hold the golf club, how you set up in posture, the angles and position that you move the club through absolutely matter. However, in my opinion, a focus on the rhythm and the motion of the swing is at the top of my list as a golf instructor. I see far too many players on the golf swing, even if the thoughts are the best thoughts in the world, so occupied with trying to do technical things that they get away from being an athlete. Here's a drill that I like to do with a lot of my players, again, beginner or elite alike when they get to the driving range, and it's to get set up to a practice swing, start the club rocking back and forth with the shoulders and the arms feeling connected. You'll notice, even though I don't have a lot of slide to my golf swing, I definitely have a sense that this is a motion that moves left and right, and I'm building into a swing that folds at the top and finishes at the follow through. And as I'm warming up, I get to the golf course, I'm letting that practice swing lead into my warm up motion. So the first handful of shots that I'm recommending you do as a player when you get to the driving range is assessing the tempo and the rhythm of your golf swing and then even in the presence of the golf ball staying focused on the rhythm and the balance of your golf swing and what I like to do with a lot of my players especially the ones who get really really tight and try to hit the ball too hard is if I can start from this drill and start small with just a little bit of a rhythmic warm-up I find that players across the board are astounded at how far the ball goes relative to the amount of effort that they use when they're doing this drill. And I would say from that perspective, while I might have a guy who typically plays golf, let's just say at nine out of 10 or close to that speed, if I can work them in this drill into a place where they're feeling a more flowing and effortless swing, a lot of times I'll get players to go from that absolute max effort level and just drop them down to a place where they can be more consistent and more repeatable. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Alper, PGA Golf Professional, and keep on the lookout for SEGA Swing Tips.